Uh, today we have an unfortunate situation. We have a three-year-old that was reported missing from the uh, 6400 block of, um, I'm sorry, 5400 block of Johnson Street. I'm giving an overview of the, uh, of the call, what we've done in terms of addressing the situation and what we intend in doing as we go forward. And I certainly appreciate you coming out as we spread that message to bring this child back home. It's extremely important that we all work together as a community to bring this child back home where, where he belongs. So I'm gonna, today at approximately 11.48 hours, we received a call at the 5400 block of Johnson Street. Uh, we received a call through the Seminole Police Department reporting that a three-year-old child had been missing. It appears that the child that was last seen between the hours of 9 a.m. and 12 noon, uh, he was inside the house, and somewhere between those hours, the child was reported missing. Uh, we've done significant searches throughout the neighborhood. We've, done, we've gone door to door, house to house, by air, and on foot, knocking on every door, looking into every yard. So we're asking the public, please keep, out, keep an eye out for this missing child. Uh, this is an all hands on deck approach. Uh, whenever a child goes missing in Broward County, we all come together to make sure that uh, we bring that child back home safely as quickly as possible. And the way we do this is by alerting the public and all of us working together. Today, we had all hands on deck from the City of Hollywood, Davie Police Department, City of Hollywood Police uh, Fire Department, all of the government uh, uh, resources that we have here, along with BSO Fire Rescue, I'm sorry, BSO Air, um, Air Unit, helping us out by, by air. We also had the uh, dogs that were tracking down a scent from the child. So we've exhausted at this point every opportunity to find this child. Our area of search encompassed from Hollywood to Sheridan, from 46th Avenue all the way to 441. So it's quite a large area and throughout that area we've gone door to door and house to house by air and on foot. The child's name that we are looking for is three-year-old Isaiah Osceola. He is uh, two feet, nine inches, 40 to 45 pounds. The child's last seen wearing a burgundy sweatshirt, I'm sorry, sweatpants, with an FSU sweatshirt, golden color, with maroon sleeves. We're asking the public to please keep an eye out. We do have a flyer that we're putting out. We'd ask them to keep an eye out for this child and report anything that looks, or anyone that looks just like this child, and we're going to follow up. We've also utilized our social media accounts to put it out from the beginning. We have Twitter, notify me, we also use our code RED, which is the reverse 911 system that we have to notify the public in the vicinity and throughout. We've also utilized a national um, database for missing child, so we've had both national, local, and county resources devoted to this. You'll hear from the mother shortly in terms of appealing to the public to please assist us in our endeavor to bring this child back home. I'll, I'll do it afterwards, is that okay? We're going to take your questions in just a moment. You're going to hear now from the mother of the child, and then the chief uh, will address your questions. Okay. Um, yes, hello. I'm here to find my son that was reported missing from his father's house. If anybody has any information on him, please, please call the police department so I can have my baby back. He's three years old. He's very friendly. And I, all I want is my baby back. That's all I want. And his name is Isaiah Osceola. Mm -hmm. Can um, he's very friendly. I mean, he he'll he'll talk to anybody, and you know, I just I just don't want him harmed. And if there's any information that anybody has on him, please call. Joey, what are your biggest concerns, like parents? Yeah, he's very adventurous, so, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping that he's going to, you know, just magically appear somewhere. Karen, he's never done anything like this before, your son? Um, yeah, because like I said, he's very adventurous, so he just kind of wanders off if you're not paying too close attention to him. So he has done this before? Uh, this has happened before, Karen? No, not where we couldn't find him. He just, like, like she said, he plays hide and seek and tries to hide from you. Karen, what are your biggest concerns right now about your son? Um, I, I don't even want to think about nothing like that right now. I just want him back. Karen, what does he mean to you, Karen? What happened? He's, he's my heart. That's, that's, he's my life. I, I don't know what I would do. I just want him home. Would he answer to any other name besides Zaya? Does he have a nickname? Um, I used to call him Zaya. Just the last four letters of his name, Z-I-Y-A. 
um, very heartbreaking. I never, never, never thought I could experience something this heartbreaking. If you were to think of anywhere he might be, where would be the first place that you look for your son? Um, well, we had a house over off of 56, and that's the only place that I could think of, and I told the police officers where that was. And they checked it and nothing. And, you know, I, I also thought about the, the the playgrounds that are in the area, but nothing yet. And, you know, I'm still hopeful, though, that I do find him and that we do bring him home. And when was the last time that you saw him? Um, a week before. Um, he lives with his father, so I haven't seen him since a week before Christmas. Um, his, I guess his stepmother, Annalise, and his father, Nelson Osceola, had him. Do you know what he was doing just before he um, went No, I talked to his dad, but around 8 o'clock, his dad was going to work, and he said that he was still in the bed at that time. So, no. Um, I had a phone call from the Hollywood Police Department. to the uh, investigation and what's been happening today. Do you have any idea how the child may have gotten away from uh, you know, the father and stepmother? No, we don't have any indications right now that would lead us to believe exactly how that occurred, but we're exploring every possibility and leaving nothing to chance. This is why this is an all-hands-on-deck approach. Without the community, volunteers have come out to help us in the search, and this is why we laid out such a large area of search in search of this child. Any reason to believe anything? We are not leaving anything to chance, so we're following every opportunity, every lead that we can find. What are your biggest concerns, Morris, about this child being out here? Well, like I said, our biggest concern is to, uh, that he's not harmed. And so, again, we're looking at the worst-case scenario, and we're, we're starting from that point. You've got three hours of daylight left. What are you guys going to do in that time period, and what happens if he's not found it by the time it gets dark out? Well, as I mentioned about an all-hands-on-deck approach, uh, we have every city government uh, employee working at this from public utilities, public works, parks department, every police officer, every firefighter, they've all been out here looking. We're not going to stop looking, we're going to continue. Now our door-to-door, -door, our foot search, our air search, we're going to stop that right now because we've exhausted that. We've done it four times already through this large area. So we're appealing to the public, as you heard the mother, let's bring Isaiah home. Let's get all the public aware that we're looking for this child. Please go to your backyard, look up and around and see if you see anything. If you see something suspicious, something, doesn't stand, something that stands out, please call us right away. Bueno, hemos usado todos los equipos posibles de la policía para local este muchacho que no apareció esta mañana. Eh, la policía de BSO, la policía de Hollywood, eh, estamos trabajando con todos los empleados de la ciudad de Hollywood buscando al muchacho. No vamos a parar hasta que lo encontremos. Si esta mañana aproximadamente a las 11.48 de la mañana fue cuando reportaron el muchacho que no estaba en su casa. A ese momento fue cuando empezamos a buscar en la área y, y, y llamamos a otras agencias a ayudarlo, como el departamento de BSO y otro departamento de, de bomberos para que vengan afuera a la calle y fuimos de, de, de cuadra a cuadra, casa a casa, buscando al muchacho. ¿Cuál es la situación que tiene en este momento para las autoridades? Bueno, siempre pensamos la cosa más peor. Y de, de ese punto empezamos a buscar y empezamos a investigar. At 11.48 we received that call. So we know that the child was seen at 8 a.m. And we believe that between the hours of 9 and 11.48, is the time period that we believe that child was reported missing. Were there any signs that he might have been taken or not voluntarily? We're pursuing every lead possible at this time. What is the stepmother saying? What is the stepmother saying? Again, you've heard from, from the mother. Uh, everything else is part of the investigation, so I cannot reveal that at this time. So the stepmother, has she said whether or not the child was awake? I mean, the father said he was asleep when he left the home. What is the stepmother? That's part of the investigation at this point. We're not releasing that information. Yes, we do have cooperation from all the parents and relatives. Is anybody in custody? No one is in custody. Could this not seem like a custody issue of any sort or anything like that? As I mentioned, we're looking at the worst case scenario. When a child is missing, we, we, we look at the worst case and we start from that point. So we're not dismissing any possibility in this case here. That is part of the investigation. We have to determine that and verify that.
Bueno, como expliqué, tú sabes, nosotros empezamos la investigación con el, el, la cosa más eh, peligrosa. Y de ese punto empezamos para adelante. So, no, no estamos, eh, estamos a todos los ángulos posibles en este, en este caso. La madrastra del niño que estaba con él en la casa, ¿qué ha dicho la madrastra? Eso es parte de la investigación. En este momento no podemos hablar sobre ese tema. ¿Pero está cooperando? Sí, todo el mundo está cooperando de la familia. Okay. We did. We received a call from the Seminole Police Department at 11.48 this morning. Yes, that's correct. The, the family did call Seminole Police first, and then they notified us. It is within our jurisdiction in you. They Th thank you, Ab. I believe it was some time before they called us. I'm not sure exactly how much time expired from the time they called to the time we were notified 1148.